Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. Thank you for watching. I had quite a debate with a lady earlier this week who called herself a progressive liberal, and she also called herself a PhD. Now you'll get that a lot from liberals because one of the symptoms of liberalism is delusions of intelligence. Liberals are absolutely convinced that they are intellectually superior beings, and to prove it, they plaster their walls with diplomas and awards to show their superiority to us little people. But when you look at their words and actions, their superiority crumples like a Prius hitting a Ford truck. Now we're going to call this lady Dr. Libby because it fits. She said that liberals are fighting to save this country, and I thought, yeah, right, lady, they're fighting like termites fight to save a house. She says that conservatives want to cut education funding. Well, yes and no. You see, we insist that English, reading, writing, English, math, science, English, history, and English are fully funded. The liberal programs that undermine parental authority, push sexual perversion on the kids, destroy their moral standards, and teach children to be ashamed of this great nation need to be flushed down the toilet where they belong. And in my Wild Bill opinion, all those therapists who cost the schools billions of dollars need to be thrown out on their butts and replaced with some tough-as-nails fitness trainers. You want to see kids' esteem go up? Get the little butterballs up off their fat rear ends and get them out on the training field. Physical fitness would improve every aspect of their lives, including their attitude. And it would give them something to feel good about. And she then threw up the liberal classic Conservatives only want to help the rich get richer while the poor get poorer. Now this is a perfect example of telling a lie often enough so that people start to believe it. First of all, the rich are also known as the successful. They generally get there through hard work and ingenuity. They don't need any help because they do it the American way. And the conservative plan is to encourage the poor to also practice hard work and ingenuity so that they can go from being poor to be rich, The liberal plan is to attack the successful and drag them down and destroy the incentive for hard work with welfare benefits that keep poor people sitting at home watching TV and whining about being poor. I would rather raise people up than drag people down. I would rather raise up the work ethic in America than destroy it. So why don't you liberals just go slap another bumper sticker on your Volkswagens demanding equal poverty for all because that's what liberalism leads to. And of course she finished up by telling me how closed-minded I am. Well lady, my opinions are based upon rock-solid evidence from the scriptures, economics, world history, and years of experience. I don't just change my mind when someone throws an argument at me with no evidence to support it. If that's closed-minded, so be it. This is Wild Bill for America, working to find a cure for liberalism in our lifetime. And God bless America again.